Hello Linux fans and welcome to another episode of DistroFlash where we take a look at Linux operating systems in five minutes or less. Up today we've got a look at Farron OS, the snapshot release of Farron OS for August 2017. What is Farron OS? Well, it is a Linux distribution based off of the ever popular Linux Mint using a modified and themed version of the Cinnamon desktop. But it's also a rolling release, so that means the Farron developer keeps things up to date frequently. Now one of the things that's nice to see here is that there is still a 32-bit version, so for those of you with older hardware, this may be a distro to take a look at. Now one of the areas where Farron stands out is in the looks department, so we're definitely going to take a quick look at the themer, but before we do, you're greeted with a nice welcome screen, which gives you quick access to the introduction of the operating system, the features, getting started, recommended apps, and a big link here to install software. And then to the right, we'll see the online store, links to the community, how to get involved, and of course, the important donate button. All right, so let's take a quick look at the theming department because this is an area that's kind of stand out for Farron OS. If you're someone new to Linux but you would you like the idea of maybe changing up your desktop and changing the the overall look but perhaps you're not familiar enough with Linux on how you would do that the themer tool makes it very simple and easy. You've got main categories up top here everything from Farron OS themes, Windows themes, Apple themes, Linux themes, and Google themes. Now you'll notice you've got subcategories under here, so here we have Chrome OS, and for example if we go back to Windows, you've got everything from Windows 10 all the way to Windows 2000 and below if you want to go retro with it. Now you'll notice that not all themes are installed, but you simply double click to install that theme and once that's installed then you can open back up and apply that theme with one click so it keeps things very simple there's also a quick link here to dark mode which will toggle you back and forth from light and dark panels if we go to the menu here if you come from a windows environment you'll find this easy to navigate and use it'll just be familiar to you with the way things are laid out now let's quickly go to internet here and you'll see that Vivaldi is the default web browser but we've got a nice tool in place here called the web browser manager so once you enter in your system password you are greeted with a simple and easy one-click install of Firefox, Chrome, uninstall Vivaldi if you choose or install Chromium so it's nice to see that in place as well I think we're running kernel version 4.10 here and it's a stable base of Linux Mint so you should find that it installs easy and is a stable base with again the rolling release model which gives you frequent updates. Now let's go over here to system settings and there's more here in the theming department once you launch into system settings which I thought I did. Let's try it again. Now here is where you'll go to find various settings for just about everything within your OS. But I'm going to focus in quickly here. You've got Themer and Theme. So if you've chosen a particular theme within Themer but you want to change some of the aspects of that theme, you can go into Themes, lots of theme words here, and change, say for example, the icons or the controls. But this is also where you'll go to set up things like applets and desklets. Desklets being things like your clock you see here. And then applets which are in place for things like quick access to display settings. Things that you see down here sometimes in your taskbar for example. And you can also set up printers, power management, your firewall, your drivers, and additional software sources. So system settings it's got everything here that you need to navigate. We'll quickly launch over to the software store and it's also very easy to navigate and use, well I thought I launched into it, with main categories and descriptions for all of the various applications. Overall nicely done and again there's a 32-bit version so if you have older hardware you may certainly want to give this a look. Well that's it for now and as always thanks for watching.